past 10 days have been Oregon's 10 highest daily case counts yet, averaging 910 cases per day. That's why Governor Brown put the entire state on a two week freeze starting on Wednesday. And some of the biggest takeaways are restaurants and bars will have takeout orders only and several other businesses like gyms have closed entirely. And for all that 2020 has brought restaurant and gym owners, this is definitely not the news they wanted to hear. These new restrictions come just before the holidays and now many employees will soon be out of a job. And as KZI 9 News reporter Kennedy Dendy shows us, this could be what shuts down some of them for good. We have members that also are uncertain and want answers that we don't have. Whatever it takes, they just want us to get back to more of a sense of normalcy. It's a two week freeze that could absolutely shutter local businesses who continue to be hit hard by the pandemic. It's stressful. It takes a lot of time and energy to um, decide how to operate, how to move forward, how to provide a safe space for our members. Katherine Richardson owns Fitness 1440 in Eugene with her sister Cody. They're worried this freeze will cause them to close their doors for good. Just going through closures has set us behind in a lot of bills that we pay every month. For the gym, the road ahead is uncertain to say the least. We've powered through it and we will continue to power through it because that's just our mentality and that's who we are. Unlike the two week pause that many Oregon counties had to face, this two week freeze applies to all Oregonians. It really just had to roll with a punch list. Park Street Cafe in Eugene was forced to shut down in March until given the green light to reopen. I just want COVID to go away. So if like having everybody stay home for two weeks, I'd like to believe that I think that that will solve some problems, but I'm not sure. Recently, they haven't had as many people dine in. She wants to stress the importance of supporting your local businesses right now. Whenever you can, like really just place an order through the restaurant and go pick it up. The Oregon Restaurant and Lodging Association says that these new restrictions will most likely cause numerous restaurants to close permanently. Reporting in Eugene, Kennedy Dendy, KZI 9 News.